Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to do the last part I believe for um, um, the uh, data manipulation section that we've been looking at. Um, so after this then we'll do the last video um, for MailMage and we should be done with this paper or so. So this is going to be um, quite a short video if I'm just going to do data um, um, manipulation. If I decide to combine the two, um, well, I won't decide to combine the two, <laughs> um, so that others will be able to find the video for mailman separately. Okay, so we ended on step number thirty in the last video, and this time around we do the last step under data manipulation, uh, which is step thirty-one. So produce a report from all the data which shows um, that board ID, tree type, thickness, and ready and sold fields only, and um, supposed to display these fields only with data shown in full um, in portrait orientation and it's supposed to be fitted to one page okay so only in, should only includes uh, where the tree type includes the text um, plane or bit um, and then um, which are at least 0 0.05 meters thick um, 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 which are ready now and which are not yet sold okay so they are going to be sorted in ascending order of tree type and the counts um, supposed to be um, counts the number of boards available and places this value at the bottom of the report and so includes the title um, plane and beach boards available okay so this is what we're supposed to do and let's go ahead and just do just that so go to create and this time around you're creating a query and um, um, simple query and then we need to find out now which fields we need okay so we need board ID tree type thickness ready and sold okay so um, board ID um, then we need tree type um, then we need um, thickness we need ready and lastly we need sold field okay so there are five fields just confirm that you have five fields one two three four five okay and they're supposed to be in this order okay so displays the fields only with data shown in full portrait orientation and fitted to one page okay so it's supposed to include um this so let's go ahead and wind up with the um the query modify the query and finish it so now we can go with the criteria that we want so it's supposed to include the text plain or beach now take note when you see the word include um, so we don't mind what comes before plain and what comes after plain as long as the word contains something or the phrase contains something to do with um, um, with 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 um, plain okay so this is where now your asterisk um, becomes vital okay so this is where where you use your wildcard well okay so you can you can for example put um, decide to put um, some texts uh, such as maybe asterisk in front of this text um, another asterisk in front of the other text and so on okay so let me not do that here um, let me go straight here and okay so the type tree type is supposed to be include tree type here so under criteria you're supposed to say asterisk plane and then asterisk uh, asterisk again now the other thing guys that you're supposed to do do not be confused with this plane then all where you're going to type all here or bit down here no please don't do that okay so just say all in the same line and put um, okay so run it and you should be able to get this one or this one London plane okay so that should be fine let me just go back there again and see it one more time that I'm doing the right thing <laughs> um, the query that we just created is let me see this one view it in design view let me just retype this one it's supposed to be like I'm sorry 
supposed to be like um, it's supposed to say like asterisk um, plain asterisk o then asterisk um, pitch okay so that is that then the last thing that you're supposed to to do and uh, not the last thing but the next thing is supposed to check if the thickness is at least 0 0.5 0 0.05 meters thick so this means that you're supposed to um, make sure that your thickness the least value is 0 0.5 so it's greater or equal to 0 0.05 so thickness is supposed to be greater or equal to 0 0.05 next run it and you see that the thickness the least value is 0 0.05 the next one is supposed to be which are ready now and then which are not yet sold so decode this which are ready now which means ready is yes which are not yet sold which means sold is no so let's go ahead and um, um, change that so go to um, design view and ready is supposed to be yes and sold is supposed to be no run it one more time and you see that ready is yes and sold is no okay now the other thing that we're supposed to do is the sorting okay so they are supposed to be sorted in ascending order of tree type so come back here and um, tree type is here so um, sort this one a to z you can sort it from here or alternatively you can sort it um, from the report i would like to sort it from the report so that i give you confidence on how to sort from the report in many of the videos that i've done so far up to today from 2015 2014 and um, 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 2016 have been sorting from the query so this time around I want to try and be sorting from the report so that people can be conversant sorting both ways okay so um, I think we're done with the query and what just remains is for us to save the query so that we can use it um, we can use it in the report so let's go ahead and create the report so report wizard this time we are building this query based on uh, this report based on the query that we just created and select all the fields go to next and um, how do you want your, uh, your to view your data is it by boards or by whatever okay so uh, at this stage it doesn't really matter okay um, it doesn't really matter you just leave it as it is go next um, do you want to add any grouping levels okay so sometimes you see that all these are the things that will make your text to come out um, disorganized like in the previous one um, that we had here okay so leave it as it is it doesn't matter we can still work around it okay so you can sort whatever, whatever. again you can specify whether you want to sort from the report here and it still be uh, you still be able to uh, to do it but again I won't sort it out from here I'll just go next and then um, I'll whether you want it to be in columnar form or you want to be in tabular form I'll leave it in tabular form but we were told it's supposed to be uh, in portrait orientation and it's supposed to um, yeah and fit to one page okay so come back here and make it to uh, it's imported already and adjust with to fit on one page go to next and then modify the report now here you can give your report a title um, so the title of the report is supposed to be plain and beach boards available so just paste it there and say finish okay so now what you need to do is to view it in layout uh, design so that you see um, um, the values that you have okay so where is it it's here view it in layout design and there you go so this is too much information or too much space not information <laughs> okay so drag this side, this side and resize it a little bit um, just make sure that it is um, good resize it this side as well and resize it a bit um, drag it a little bit so that the, the, the field name is visible and resize it this side or drag it 
this site okay this one as you can see you have hashtags because the field name is small okay so this is perfectly fine um, now go back to design view and um, you're going to delete these you don't need them um, so in your report footer in your report footer you are going to um, you're going to count the number of boards available and place this value at the bottom of the report okay so number of boards available and place this value at the bottom of the report so you can even include um, a name so just um, go to uh, design and get um, text box and um, this is a button sorry get this one and then drop it around here so just say um, count equal to count and then which fi whichever field you are using doesn't matter so I'll use board ID um, but don't forget to enclose um, the count because it's a function enclose it in parentheses okay and then the field name is supposed to be enclosed in um, supposed to be enclosed in um, square brackets so number of boards available uh, it counts the number of boards available so we can say number of boards available as the name and just put this one this side okay of course you can do this in the um, in the layout view it's much easier actually to do it from the layout view Okay, so at the bottom here we have um, number of um, fields available. Or okay, so next thing we're supposed to put is um, um, let's see, are we supposed to show in our name there? Place in your evidence document screenshot showing how you calculated the number of boards available. So here you're supposed to. Um, go to design view and get a screenshot of this section here so just get a screenshot of this copy it go to your um, there um, calculated field so screenshot showing the calculated field formula okay so I perhaps skipped um, evidence 7 I don't know what evidence 7 was supposed to be um, let me just see what evidence 7 was um, then I can comment it out so appropriate improvements for a design okay so it um, placing your evidence token screenshot showing your improved form okay so this we're supposed to show evidence so I'm gonna do this um, right here um, evidence of the improved form um, we created this form and um, I'm going to get a screenshot of this form okay and just copy it and pasted that so sorry guys I skipped this section um, if you've watched the videos uh, you'll notice that I skipped this one evidence 7 so just paste it right there um, the other thing that you're supposed to do now okay so we are done just verify that we are done with all this um, we just need to save and print our report so make sure that your name center number appear on the report so just go ahead and put that on the report so um, let's see um, our report is supposed to be this one so just go ahead and um, put um, the details here so go to design view and get the label and put your details here in the report footer or in the page footer so I'll put Chikasa Evans ZM556001 now preview this one and you should see your report should have all these details and it should look perfectly fine all right so I think this marks the end um, for um, database um, um, and um, we are supposed to do the last section in this paper which is uh, actually mailmage and this is a very short one and um, we should be done with paper two uh, in the course of next week, I will put up a video also which has to do with paper, um, paper three.
okay so thank you so much guys for watching remember to subscribe my uh, to my channel um, invite others share my videos and um, I'll see you in the next video in just a short while